Uh, yeah. Look, we're disappointed. Uh, we're not advancing in this tournament. Um, but I think, you know, my message to the players as well was, look, you have to congratulate Monterey for for putting in an effort um, tonight. That was excellent. Um, they pushed and pushed and pushed to try to get goals and, and to try to advance. So, you know, they've won away on the road um, in Seattle, in Portland, in Salt Lake, and now here in L.A. So, you know, hats off to them. They're, they're a good team. And they've showed it. Um, it is, of course, a... Um, a tough, tough one to swallow for us. Um, you know, I do, I do really think the officials were a disaster, um, misusing VAR, not using the right moments, and just, just, just an all-around disaster tonight. Um, so that makes it a little more difficult uh, to accept, but we do accept it. And I think for any of us, or for us in in the locker room right now, you know, we need to be a little more proactive about. Um, Playing with a lead and not just defending, and I think that in the end is um, you know why you lose games. Um, you know, of course, a few calls could have gone our way, but um, they didn't. So, um, like I said, I still think um, we are good enough sportsmen to congratulate Monterey and wish them the rest uh, the rest of the way, all the luck in the world. Justin, hi, coach. On that same topic, uh, you talked after the RSL game about how you're a very difficult team to come back against. That has been the case throughout the season. Uh, now, 19 games you've scored first. This is the first time you've lost the game. What do you think uh, maybe is going well in th throughout the season to not give up those leads that didn't happen tonight? Look, it's, uh, it's a matter of inches. Whether we go up 3-0, uh, a non-penalty call in the first half, which is as clear as day, um, and, and their penalty is not clear as day. So it's, or um, the chance from Denis and and Mario in the second half to go up 3-1. So we could be sitting here and talking about uh, talking about that as well, um, but we're not. And so if the margins are really small. Um, and I think that's when you play good teams, that's how it should be, and that's how it was tonight. Be good. Hi, Coach. Uh, what did you see these uh, last few days with Mario that you decided to give him his first game, his first start, especially over what we saw from, from Nathan? When somebody plays, it's not um, over somebody else. It's not because we're not happy with the other person. It's just sometimes giving minutes, allocating minutes to certain players, and Mario's new, and we have high hopes for him. And um, we want to integrate him as soon as possible. Kathy. Steve, I, I know it's hard, but just seeing the experiences this year, and specifically against Liga MX teams, what happened in CONCACAF now with, with the Rayados, just how much can look on the positive, uh, as you always look at, can help keep building this team for the remainder of the season and, and that and looking to defend the, the championship? Yeah, we love those challenges. Um, they're very good teams. Leon, um, um, Monterrey, and we'll have Tigres in the Campeones Cup uh, in September. Um, and so they're great challenges. They're great learning experiences for us. Um, you know, I think it's also clear to see the differences in budgets and the way rosters are, are structured. Um, and I think it's um, also important to remember that um, you see it all around the world. Um, money scores goals, and it's true. And nobody wants to believe it. And, and the pure footballer inside of me um, also wants to believe uh, the underdog story. But if you look at the tables all over the world and all the leagues who don't have salary caps, it's very clear what's going on. And um, I think we are at a huge disadvantage to the top Mexican teams um, in those in those regards. Let's take one final question and go over to Zoom from John Lupo. Steve, with how good both teams were in transition, I thought it was a good pace early on. I thought you guys had some, some good opportunities, some good moments in transition. But then it seemed like they were, obviously with the final possession stat, dominating the ball. But I thought that they they had better looks, better spacing with the ball, the way they were passing. Just they were stretching you guys a little bit wide. Did you feel like they made any adjustments? Was it something you didn't do defensively? What sort of changed in that regard as the match went along, especially in the second half? No changes, nothing tactical going on. I just think it's kind of, um, you know, the nature of, of being up 2-0. Um, 
and certainly a third goal would have closed the door to any hopes they had. And so you, you just kind of, both teams are stuck in that, that way of playing, that tactic. Uh, both teams have decided to finish the game in that manner. Them pushing, us defending, and looking for a counter to score a third. Um, and it nearly happened. So um, I don't think this game was decided by tactics. I think really in the end, uh, what we just need to improve on, and if we had done a little better, was possess the ball a little more, have longer sessions of um, or stretches of the game where we possess the ball, then I think uh, we, we, you know, we advance in this tournament. Let's do one more here in the room with Mikelet. Sorry, Coach. Uh, piggybacking a little bit of, of, of what you said, um, that it was most, more emotional than tactically. The, the, and we, we spoke about this yesterday on the press conference. Do you think that today, Monterrey, after their first goal, just beat you just by taking advantage of that emotional moment? No, if I can, if I look back at the 90 minutes and, and the reactions of my players, um, the only thing that I might be disappointed in is being too preoccupied with the, officiated, the officials. Um, I completely understand their frust frustration. I, I was once a player and understand what that's like when you feel cheated. Um, and, you know, to be honest, I think the players are right. But um, as a professional player, you have a job to do on the field and you can't let that affect your play or let it affect the, the opponent. Um, any opportunity they may have, um, it's your job to kind of close the door and, and to make sure that, you know, they don't creep themselves back in the game. Um, so I think that's the only thing that, you know, we will talk about and try to improve on. Um, but again, I'm, I'm very understanding of the situation tonight due to the, you know, the, I, I think just the, the drastically poor decisions.